happening today. Hundreds of migrants from African countries are rallying down at City Hall. They're calling for better quality of life, saying they want to be put to work, but it's been difficult to cut through all the red tape. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live from City Hall with more on this. John? Yo, Chris, good afternoon to you. Now, this group started to form about 9.30 this morning. They all came down here to the park right behind City Hall. And as you can see right here behind me, hundreds came out here as we pan. And we'll, we'll show you all the people out here. And some of them already left. But all of them out here protesting the city and how they say it's handling migrants coming from countries like Haiti, Guinea, Senegal, and others. Now, they planned this rally today because New York City Council Committees on Immigration and hospitals are hosting an oversight hearing. They wanted to hear about the experiences new migrants from African countries are having in the city, looking to understand things like how the administration is addressing language access barriers, health needs, and other roadblocks that growing number of newcomers say that they're dealing with. Many of them are saying that two of the biggest issues are housing, how they only get temporary shelters, they then get kicked out and have no place to go. And they also say they're unable to work since they don't have working permits, asking the city to streamline the process so they can get to work. Find solution for all African community. They are young guys. Look at them. They are 19 years, 20 years old. So they are, they are ready to work. But we need to get better condition for these guys. I'm very upset about it because I was not thinking it would be like this because um, our, uh, lack, lack of shelter, lack of many things, let me say, lack of job. And a live look back out here at the park, as you just heard them talk, you know, you, these are a lot of 19 year olds and 20 year olds and teenagers, but also there's some women too, families with young children out here. They all are saying that this is, you know, not what they were expecting to be dealing with. But coming up later on today, you'll hear from um, some city council members, including Republican Vicki Palladino. She's fired up about this, saying that the city should rather be focusing its attention and its money on citizens. The full report coming up later later on today. But for now, we are live this afternoon from City Hall. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. All right, John, thank you.